Hello everyone, I'm here to do a review on the Dell Latitude 5285. Now, these computers here is one of those tablet notebooks where it's like pretty much like a surface itself, where you can actually pull apart the keyboard, um, they will click in itself and do the stuff. But what this has, a little bit of advantages of the surface is a few things. One, it has a little bit more ports than the surface on interface itself so you actually have uh, two USB type C um, one of which you can use to charge one and the other you can use as also data as well you got a normal single USB 2 port um, then you got the sound buttons you got a headphone jack uh, you got a power button you got a Windows button over here and plus you got the Kensington lock um, little slot here you also have the speakers on the side which is fantastic and again you will probably more than likely buy this with the keyboard. Um, this keyboard is very similar to the Microsoft Surface keyboards where you actually click in, um, you can take it off, and then you can use it as a normal tablet itself. It's got touchscreen. Um, the touchscreen is not too bad, it's pretty good, um, but when it comes down to pen mode, that's a different story. Uh, the Microsoft Surface is much more responsive, and this does create a little bit of pen lag waiting for it to write. So writing away you can do it but it's not as nice and smooth like the surface itself. Um, so to bear in mind these USB-C ports are not Thunderbolt free so if you've got a Thunderbolt dock it will not work. Um, we've been using pretty much these WD-15s um, and also the D6000 um, from Dell the docks itself and they work perfectly fine. Uh, I have connected other docks to it, uh, that's USB, so they can work fine as well. Um, but what we got these in for instead of the surfaces that we're slowly replacing a lot of surfaces is because surfaces on a corporate level is really awful when it comes down to dual display on external screens. Uh, they can seem to handle one screen external, but when it comes down to dual external screens, they are no good. They keep giving us a lot of display problems left, right, and center. Uh, the other issue we have with surfaces is their serviceability. Basically, Microsoft do not send a tech out to send to fix any problems with the surface itself. Even if it's just a little rubber or a bit on the latch itself, they don't, they'll still ask you to send the whole entire unit back to Microsoft Service Center. And then they'll give you a whole replacement uh, and you know the dramas with that basically sort of re-imaging, formatting, starting from scratch again with a computer itself. Whereas these Dells, they actually will send a tech out to replace different parts which needs to be done. I've done that multiple times for these computers. Um, now, I've, one of the main issues I've seen so far that keeps coming up with in terms of servicing these things, it seems to be the front camera itself. Now, I've had probably about three camera replacements for these um, 80, so 5285s. Um, but it was quick, nice and easy done by Dell. They're done very professionally. Awesome there. Um, but I do find one other problem, and I'm hoping when the next version they do create is fix the keyboard itself. Um, this little slider keyboard, it's very, it comes up very quickly. This is what a lot of people have been told me, that this lets us snap off um, very quickly. So the magnet needs to be stronger. Hopefully that will be bringing that one back for making use for next time. Uh, the other good thing about this one here is it's got a full BIOS from Dell, so you can actually do a lot of customization for and fixing these things up, whereas this Microsoft Surface is a very basic BIOS, which only allows you to do very basic stuff. Um, you can't really do much, barely even get them to boot into re-imaging mode for a lot of things. Um, what else is there? I think that's pretty much about it. Um, catch you next time.